In this video, we're going to take a look at how you can have different UV sets that get used by different textures. So each texture can use a different UV set that you have on an object. Now you can usually do this through the relationship editor, but there's a problem with that. It doesn't always show all your nodes. It might not show displacement. It might not show certain things connected to your materials. So in this video, we're going to go over how you can kind of have different textures that use different UV sets on any object in Maya. So to begin, I'm just going to create a cube, and by default, this cube has a UV set, or how the textures get applied to it. And I'm going to rename this UV set to just UV1, and then I'm going to create another UV set. So I'm going to unwrap it as a planar, maybe from X as UV2, as a new UV set. So now I have two UV sets on this object. I have one that looks like this and one that looks like this. So this is UV set one, this is UV set two. So maybe my color textures and all that will use UV set one, but I'll want a displacement that uses UV set two. This is where the problem is. If I go and apply a material on here, and it doesn't really matter what render you're using, but in this case, if I'm using V-Ray and I have a V-Ray material, and I go over to the material for diffuse color, and I put in a file, or maybe not even a file, just like a checkerboard. There we go. Um, that's now attached, and if I preview this, you can see how the textures applying to it. And that works. If I want to change that texture to map to a different UV set, I can go to Windows, Relationship Editors, and over to uh, UV Linking, UV Centric, and I'll get a window. Uh, that will appear, and I can select my object and choose which UV gets applied to which connected texture. So here's the UVs, here's the texture. So if I want that checker to use UV2, I could link those up. So if I just try that out, I click on checker, and I set it to UV2, now it uses that other UV set that's a kind of projection from the front. If I use UV1, then it uses that kind of UV1 channel. So the problem with this is if you need to script something, or if your material has something like a displacement plugged in here, or if you're using V-Ray or other types of renders and you go you know, create and you add a displacement another way, in this case I'm just going to go to create V-Ray, V-Ray displacement, and assign a single Theory displacement node. And in there, you'll be able to have a texture. So if I put something, maybe not like a checker, but like a noise pattern or something, it's connected now. If I want that noise pattern to not use this UV, to use the other UV where it's projecting from the front, I don't really have a way to do that. If I go up here and back to relationship editors under Windows and back to UV linking, the relationship editors, uh, UV linking, and I do UV centric. If I click on this object, I don't see the displacement. There's no displacement showing up here. And even if I click on the displacement node in my outliner, it doesn't show up in here. So I have a little bit of a problem. How can I connect that displacement to a different UV set? You can do this through a node editor a lot easier. So I'm going to go to Windows and open up the node editor. And I get Maya's node editor, and I'll take my V-Ray displacement. And if I don't have it showing up in here, I can just select it in my outliner and click this button that shows all incoming and outgoing connections. And now I see my displacement is taking the cube and it's using the noise texture. And this is the, the node that kind of attaches it to the UVs. So what I'm going to do is take this place 2D texture node and I'm going to connect another node up to it. Uh, what I'm going to connect up to it is a node called UV Chooser. So if I press tab, I can search for UV Chooser. That will create a new node. This UV Chooser will have an out UV, and I'll want to connect that to the UVs of my Place 2D Texture. And I won't be able to right now, but if you right click on your Place 2D Texture and hold down right click, you have an option here to show all attributes, and that will show everything that you could possibly 
connect to this node and I'll be able to find UV coordinate and I can plug my UV choosers out UV to the UV coordinate of the place 2D texture. And now I can connect this UV chooser to the UV I want to connect to this noise texture, which will be the UV specified on my cube. So what I will do is I will drag and drop the cube into this node editor so I can just take the cube from my outliner, middle click and hold on its geometry and drag and drop it into the node editor. And it might already be here, like the cube is already technically in here, but that's not going to work. You need the shape of the cube, not the P cube, but the shape, which is the actual mesh. So I'll open up that grouping, middle click and drag the P cube shape into the node editor. So now I have that. I'll expand it. And at the bottom, you'll see that there is something called UV set. And if I open that up, there's my two UV sets. UV set zero is the one that appears first in the list in your UV set editor. And UV set one is the one that appears second. So it just keeps going up. So if I have like four more UVs, it'll be UV set zero, one, two, three, etc. So if I want UV two to be assigned to that displacement, I will select UV set one because that's the second entry in here, just like UV two is the second entry in here. And I will open that up and I'll take the UV set name and I'll connect the UV set name to the UV chooser. And this window will come up where you have to click on other and a window will pop up and you want to connect the UV set name to the UV sets. And now it links that up. So now I have the cube. I'm using the UV set one of the cube into a UV chooser, which goes to the place 2D texture, which determines how the noise that I have in my displacement is assigned to that mesh. And now I've successfully used this noise um, planar projected using the second UV set to this cube in my viewport. So if you want to test this, um, clearly the, the diffuse is using the other UV set and my displacement now is using the projected UV set. So if I were just to add a, a light or something in here and give this a test render to make sure it works, we will see that it's displacing. And if I want to see properly what this is doing, I'll probably have to change some of my displacement settings. So I'm just going to do that. And just make it not as strong. And maybe a lot higher quality. So there it goes, it's displacing. And now if we want to test if I can use a different UV set, so I'm just going to save a I'll make this background not as visible so we could see a bit better. So there's this UV set, and if I were to change that UV set, node editor, and instead of UV set one, I'll use UV set zero and connect it into here so I can open this up. I have to choose the name. So put that in here. And now I were to render it. It's assigning it differently. You can see how it changed. So this way you can assign different UVs to different texture nodes very easily. And if I want to do the same thing for the uh, color, just to make sure it's working, I'll get rid of the displacement. So by default, we have this. If I want to change that UV set through the node editor, let's give that a try. I'll branch out my material or objects. So I'll select the object branch all incoming outgoing connections. Uh, I'll take the shading group, which connects to the material. So I have my V-Ray material connected to a checkerboard, uh, connected to the place 2D texture. So if I want to change what UV set this checker is being applied to on the place 2D texture, I right click and hold and show all attributes. I connect the UV coordinate to a UV chooser. UV, UV coordinate, and then from the UV chooser, 
I take the, the surface or the object I'm wanting to take the UV for this texture of. So I will take this geometry in my viewport, drop it in here, and I want to use UV set two or one of that object because it starts counting at zero. And I'll use UV set name. Connect it up. And now when I render, well, even right now in the viewport, I can see that's changed. When I render, same kind of thing. So other way to, to change the UV sets, so you can really change it on any surface because the relationship editor UV linking uh, really only shows you certain nodes. And if you want to script something, you have to know kind of what nodes to create, what to hook up to what different outputs and inputs. Uh, so this is how you can kind of do that in Maya through the node editor and specify a different UV set for every single file or texture node and have full control. So that's where we'll end the video here, uh, but hopefully now you know how to change the UV sets that each texture or file node that you've loaded uses.